Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tembela Mpata and this is Uncomfortable Journey with Tembela. Uh, I'm bringing a topic. I'm bringing a topic. First of all, before I talk about the topic, I want to just remind people why we have this YouTube channel. This YouTube channel is for all my ladies. We're here to talk about uncomfortable journey, the journeys that we encounter in our lives as women. I know there are men that are watching the channel, but uh, my topics are based on female or women, the things that they encounter in their lives. I think it is better, it was better for me to choose Uncomfortable Journey as my, as my channel because I have been in the Uncomfortable Journey. For as long as I remember in my life, for as long as I remember, I've been in the uncomfortable journey. So our topic today, before I start again, welcome back to those that are joining me again to, to, to this channel. Welcome to those that are like uh, popping in for the first time. Thank you so much for choosing to watch my channel. I hope you'll find something that is going to change your life, not entirely, but parts of it by watching this channel okay because the the impact i want to make the impact and it's a faith channel we talk about god we quote bible verses a lot and i want to make an impact i want to change um the way we think as women because we are so powerful we are powerful powerful beings or oh, human women you are powerful <laughs> Okay, let's let's begin. Okay, today we are going to be talking about modesty. Yeah, I did I did do a video, but then I was like, okay, that video I was talking behind pictures and and combination of videos, but I was like, okay, maybe it's not a good thing to do videos like a collage of videos. I need to show my face when I'm talking about this. Yeah? I need to show my face and talk to my woman about this. So I made some notes. Of course, there are Bible verse notes that I made that will help us to understand what is modesty based on the Bible, based on the Bible. Because I think we have been fed or we fed each other or ourselves that modesty is all about um, wearing nice clothes, uh, yeah, buying expensive clothes, <laughs> but partly that is that is partly modestly modesty. Sorry, um, modesty is not about what you put on your outside or or, or, or your outward look. Modesty is all about in 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 what in what. Um, work that you do as an individual but i'm going to just read my notes and also uh, give my views as i read my notes just to help us understand the modesty in a biblical term not in in general but what god wants us to do as women that want to be modest ne? that are looking for improving their 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 their, their looks and 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 themselves entirely okay um in a biblical in a biblical um term modesty is a concept that primarily pertains to one's attitude one's attitude um you know we we think by wearing expensive clothes the attitude yeah, will not matter <laughs> attitude yako will not matter but your attitude matters a lot more than what you put on your on your body what you put on your body um yeah but I, must, I cannot wear impartial as of course some people do i cannot wear impartial as expensive yet how i talk doesn't um join okay doesn't doesn't um combine with how i i i communicate with people that's why we bible was it were immodest is a concept that primarily pertains pertains to one's attitude it behavior as well is number two and appearance attitude and then we behavior then appearance because immodesty 
<laughs> within you most attitude yakho ba ungubani sibona ngendlela othetha ngayo ngendlela that you hold yourself then ke ngoku sibona ndibana ungubani that's where modesty um begins with your attitude with your behavior with your appearance is the last one and um it this continuous explanation it's no bother it is often associated with humility yabona umuntu omodest most captured on your proverbs 31 woman we we see a woman that is filled with humility filled with modest modest in jeramam when you read that verse it's it's the person that you want to be as a woman especially those that are married they want to be a proverbs woman or kind of wife to their husband ne? Um, good way it has to do with also with self-control when you are a modest a modest person okay, you aspire to be one you need to have self-control you cannot be a person that talks when about better okay you cannot do as you please you need to be a person that has principles and boundaries and self-control then you are a person that is on the path to be a modest woman and then end a sense of reverence before god everything okay? everything it goes back to god you have a sense of reverence before god like classic bonanje unobutiko within you ne? and then while the specific teachings on modesty can vary between different traditions and dominations um uh, and interpretations there are some general principles and passages in the bible ne? in the bible there are some general principles or any verses that helps us or guide us to get to indo bana indo modest what must we do how must we look if we want to be modest women like if if <coughs> if most in funa if in funa ok understand that if value as, as a person I the first source that I need to go to is the Bible if I want to gain my confidence ne, I need to and read the Bible what does the Bible say about me I am wonderfully and fearfully made that means Ne? So then on the of money confidence and I'll have my confidence. Then at last of all, I get uku uku banga ba and tuka nyo men aba abe aba funu ba modest. Ne? We need to go to the Bible and find out what does God say about immodest. So o first Peter, first Peter three, u verse ngo three to four. First Peter three, u verse ngo three to four, New Testament. Uti no bana. Your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as elaborate hairstyles and the wearing of gold jewelry or fine clothes. Rather, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. Ne? So, upita apa, we are emphasizing no bana. Like, we should not, in no bana, class, this teta mo boot, yes, jonge, easy, no that this is fakayo, good, then sit no bana, ubani, mutle. Ubushe betu should come from within, not outside. Ubushe betu should come from within. Whatever we feed ourselves, ne? Whatever we feed our minds, okay, ourselves. It should be into that as houses are almost outwardly. And Upita Utunobana should not come from outward adornment. Your beauty should not come from outward adornment, like your hairstyles, your wearing of gold jewelry, or fine clothes. Ne? Your, your, today, I want to emphasize Nobana, your modesty should come from within because you only know that comes within i na pretense ne ibonakalisa ubu wena into bana ungubani wena and you know, when you aspire to be a modest woman you should work on your inside like you should work on is into that oswaka gapakati who are you ngaphandle kwalento esizibona ngaphandle 
like your your hairstyles and your your pearls and your your jewelry and everything that you put outside who are you really so you need if you want to be a modest woman a woman if maneka ku proverbs 31 you should work on your inward not on your outward first work on your inward before you work on your outward because automatically you're going to have your outward look if you are working on your inward and once again you know when can i mamela on on instagram i was watching in and then i i listened to this woman she was saying no banner who is your spirit who is your spirit that does not tell you in the banner what you are putting on right now is not a good thing who is that spirit that you are listening to that means in the listening is something that comes from within in in ourselves in doing when the land on within you when you choose your clothes when you choose your clothes you're going to go to work what what comes into your mind first that's why i'm saying you need to feed your mind you need to go back to the word of god so that you can find the directions of immodest diaco that you want to 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 elevate should come from inside immodesty doesn't come from expensive clothes but it comes from the inner beauty and the quiet, quiet spirit. Upita Utindobana, it's unfading beauty of gentle and quiet spirit. You must be a person that is peaceful within so that peaceful outside as well. Mwana kumtu kaye peaceful kapakati, ne? Kaye peaceful kapakati, aka aka zisi chaos to those that are inter eternabu peace to those that are around yeah around peace so if you want to be a modest woman ask god for peace peace that surpasses all understanding sorry peace that surpasses all understanding so that you can be a woman that you first peter 3 talks about your beauty will be a gentle and a quiet spirit quiet spirit that family meetings your spirit brings peace you are a modest woman how you conduct yourself how you talk how you respond Younger Londo, it describes in the banner Ungubani when. Okay, Office Timothy 2 9 to 10. Utinobana Yena. Um, I also want the woman to dress modestly with decency and appropriate, adorning themselves, not with elaborate hairstyles and golden pearls or expensive clothes, but with good deeds with good deeds now this verse talks about what peter talked about in those pearls and jewelry and hairstyles but this verse you wanna adds on it says with good deeds with good deeds if we we remember proverbs 31 of that woman a woman a virtuous woman she makes her home warm she makes her home warm. Like Amandona Baake, they praise her. They praise her because she's a modest woman. We all want to be that woman, but we need to start from with within so that we can be the people that abound when they look at us. They want to know who is your God. That is making you to be a, this this good, good woman. Good deeds good deeds they make you a modest woman you need to do good for others so that you can be a, a modest woman but they are the easiest things that we we can do like for doing and they bring us peace as well for doing good deeds <laughs> you become the happiest, happiest person. The, the, the more you do, the more now, the happy spirit. Joy 
a joy, ubane joy when you do good deeds. And then immodesty akonayo is defined by what you do. Ne? If you want to be a modest person, you you want to add value to abandu. It be impactful in the conversations that you have with people, the conversations that you have even in at your workplace. What are you saying to people every day? What are you saying to your boss every day? Because the bosses there to Nazos need encouragement, guys. <laughs> now they go through a lot of things. So what are you saying on Lomo Wako? Because you have the power is in your tongue. The power is what? In your tongue. What you say can build a person or what you say can break a person. So good deeds can be done by what you say, can be done by your hands. What is it that you have in your hands? So if you want to be a, a modest woman, do good deeds. Don't focus so much on what you wear. Today we're not talking about isn't all that you put on your outside, we're talking about the inward. Ne? We want to look at immodesty from inward. Ubu ubu pagati bako. Because ubu pagati bako is what we're going to see on your outward. Yabona as is wanna if fleshy clothes, your new hairstyles every weekend. We want to see and we are building women that are confident, aba 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 that want to do good for others, that are not so uh, selfish, aba funis in doses are but that are willing to give. By giving you're not losing anything, but you are gaining yourself. You are gaining peace and joy that God is going to add as a blessing into your life. Okay, and then um, Matthew 5, 28. Matthew 5, 28. While not directly, Matthew 5, 28, I got it directly in your modesty. Ne? If we remember Matthew 5, 28 in your testament, yana uteta um, let me read it. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lastly has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Ne? With her in his heart. So women, okay, my dear ladies, <laughs> ladies, please, when you wear your clothes, ne? You, you must be mindful of a band that are around you. That's why Landomeni Mameleku who Instagram basically no matter who is your spirit because your spirit guides you to to choose the clothes you wear. Ne? So you must be mindful of the people that are around you. Are you making them sin? Ne? Are you making abandomana kabe jonge wana banga bonuti ko within you? <laughs> so you must be mindful of the things that you put in your body because you are this is the song abo ne. I don't know about the right now, but you are a, a chosen nation. You are a chosen nation. You are a chosen nation. So whatever you do must present that you are walking with God and you are who God who is in with you. Is in you. Sorry, is in you. So young in that you put in the it should not make anyone. Anyone, anyone, no bangu bani na, no bangu mama ako, no bangu sister wako, a afunu kwenzu okubi, okanyi angene into temptation. Ne, because of what you have put in your body. Kume tu ke ngoklo 528. Ne, Proverbs 31. So long abiku Proverbs 31. O Proverbs 31. Otino kubana charm is deceptful and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. A woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Ebony modest is so deep. It deep, deep, deep. It's like <laughs> it deep, it deep. So about Dubai, by looking at you, they want to praise God. And they are so pleased by the way you conduct yourself and the way you uphold yourself in public, Gengo. Babona Ubutiko within you. So Ucho Utino Bana. A charm is deceitful, but beauty beauty is fleeting. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Ne? A woman who fears the Lord. This suggests that the focus should be on one's relationship with God. Ne? Rather than on the external beauty. Ne? The focus here to should be on having a relationship here to with God, not on our 
a standard beauty by focusing on God, né? on your relationship with God. God will direct you in the Obana how to wear. As a spirit, it's going to sit in you né? and it's going to give you direction on how to wear. Because by focusing on your relationship, you are being directed in the Obana because is within you. So get all focus quizindo. Like focusing M7 in work. Remember, whatever you focus on becomes your idol. So if you focus on your work and you do not pray, that thing that you focus on becomes your God. Ne, you are worshipping it because it's in your mind when you go to sleep, it's in your mind when you wake up. We must be really mindful, ladies, when we want to be modest women. We must have a concrete or build a relationship with God so that God can help us to navigate as is in Tosifuna Obazis or can you help us to get to where we want to be as modest women like abandu that ababona kalabeteni bebe inge la utiko afuna bebe okay let me take this opportunity <laughs> and remind you that this channel is about building each other as women we want to build each other we want to talk about our journeys and what we have learned so that we can help other women as well to, to be comfortable and be okay that indo that you have went through can turn around and become a beautiful, beautiful thing in your life. And we want to build women in this way. Ne? We want women to be comfortable, to be confident, and also to be women that God Afuna baby kwindao, afuna baby kul. That's why I'm talking about modesty today. Is because God wants us to be na sibenga ba fazi okanye ladies that aba aba tukabe bona kala in our societies. Because by building one woman, okanye building 38 women that are watching this channel, I am building a society. Tomorrow you will watch how you clothe yourself and the clothes that you buy. By doing that, you'll be coming back to God to say, how can I change? Can you turn around and not wear the clothes that are going to make my brothers or my sisters run away from you? Ne? Okay. But hey, I hope you guys are getting me. Getting me. Getting me. <laughs> okay. Romans 12. This is our last verse. Romans 12 to New Testament. What you know, Bana? Okay, this verse encourages believers to not conform to the patterns of the world. If we remember, oh, 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 Romans 8, sorry, Romans 12, oh, Romans 8 is my favorite chapter. Okay, Romans 12, our bodies are a temple of the Holy Spirit. Our bodies are a temple of the Holy Spirit and we are to really um, be careful on what we put in because our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Some Christians interpret this, okay, this is my note. Some Christians interpret this as a call to resist the excessive focus on outward appearance and conform to a more modest and humble way of a life. Ne? So, yeah, those are the verses. I can I can just um tell you now so that you go and read them. Okay, who's print who's make it and then call goes so that you can be the woman that you want yourself to be. Remember by being careful on how you treat yourself because this is like you treating yourself, ne? Not because it starts with you. Ne, it starts with you and then by doing this you, you're going to have a girl child like you have sisters already by doing this and then and then and then you are building what a nation nation be careful about how we wear the things we wear and a nation aspire to do 
i good deeds for others in nation and a phone of all about bonding and what the i know today society is so much okay with with us showing parts of our bodies but if i believe is still not okay with us showing in in this in my year to get there and get right so being a modest woman you watch how you wear your clothes and also you watch how the thing how you talk the things you put within yourself and also how you um conversate with abanya band ne? so today i hope you guys are going to um enjoy enjoy this this video if you have any comments anything that you want to add that maybe i have left out please add um in the comment section and also please remember to subscribe okay this is my pathway passage I'm going to read, I will read it. In the biblical context, modesty is often seen as a virtue that promotes humility and self-control. By focusing on ufunuba modest, ufuna uzi woya, ne? Gendle lo tesanga, gendle lo nebanga, gendle la yonke la ando. Yebo, you are touching so many avenues. Ngawe, i parts as means. Ngobu zoba ngomitona self-control. Ne? and then we want to humility and then we focus on the inner qualities rather than on the outward qualities yeah well by taking this road root oh yes so many things by checking the banner um the and then cautious as well Gendo that you put on because you want to be a modest 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 woman okay it is important to note that interpretation of modesty can vary among christian communities individuals and individuals may have different views on how to apply the, these principles in their lives like abanyabandu bana no modest to be uh, the person that um as, as a female i don't have to consult the bible that's okay i'm just here to give my own point of views like bible is my reference point my reference point like if one thing that i want is to band because this is not our home. I know we are so comfortable. We are so comfortable. We have forgotten. Ne? But this is not our home. And you know, I'm to that. And just check. Am I in the right path? Does God want me to do this this way? So I hope you guys are going to receive the, the, this video. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>